Hi, welcome back. I'm Holly. And on this week's video is tumbling blindfolded. Now, if you don't already know, I am actually visually impaired. I am legally blind, but I do have some vision left. I was born this way. I didn't have, you know, an eye disease where it got worse and worse. I was born this way. So it's all I've known. And I've always have compensated for everything in gymnastics and life and music, everything. But this idea, I wanted to tell you this. I am not trying to make fun of anybody who has less vision than I have. I am visually impaired too. So I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who has less vision or more vision or any disabled at all or different abled, not trying to make fun of anybody. But this idea actually came from music class. My teacher, my violin teacher, I don't know if you ever noticed, but in other videos, I have actually posted of me playing the violin. And when I play the violin, even though the violin is right under my nose, for some reason, I scrunch up my shoulders and the violin have a head tilt and I'm trying to look so desperately at what I'm trying to do, even though the violin is already under my nose. <laughs> So my violin teacher blindfolded me and told me that I need to learn to play without looking. You got to learn to trust that it's muscle memory. You know where each string is. You know what each string sounds like. So you, you know this and even professional violinists and music, uh, not music people, <laughs> um, musicians. <laughs> That's the word I wanted to say. They do not look at their instrument. They don't even look at the music. They have played their pieces thousands of times before they perform them. They know them backwards and forwards in their sleep. So everything is memorized. So I got me thinking. Could that help my gymnastics by learning to trust my body? Could I do gymnastics blindfolded? And if I could, would it help someone else? Who else is trying to do gymnastics with limited vision too? So if you want to know this is going to work, stay tuned.
Okay, I am surprised that worked out as well as it did. <laughs> Minus the time where I ran into the, into the tree. <laughs> as soon as I realized I needed to back up from the tree, I was fine. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for any gymnast who is doing gymnastics with a lot less vision than I do. It is a lot of hard work. You gotta pay attention to a lot more things. <laughs> I definitely underestimated this little idea. <laughs> I actually think I broke my toe when I ran into the tree. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to try and I hope you enjoyed and maybe you learned that even though you have less vision or more vision, it's okay. Anybody can do gymnastics or skateboard or skydive or play soccer. Go out and try. It's a lot of fun. Hope to see you next time. Bye.